What does it mean that God is just? It's got to mean more than he's just simply fair. Uh, I mean, we, we get this idea of fairness and, you know, it's more than he's just being fair to everybody because in one sense, fair is, is an objective term for what we think is fair. But what it means that God is just is that he always does what is right and the ultimate good. You know, Deuteronomy 32 uh, verse 4 says this, the rock, his work is perfection. All his ways are just, a God of faithfulness and without injustice, righteous and upright he is. When we think of God's justice, we're confused by it because we think, how can God, loving, merciful, uh, God who is supposed to be good and right and holy, how can he justify the unjust? Well, this week in Theology 333, where we look at an aspect of who God is in three minutes and 33 seconds, I want us to explore just that for a moment. You know, we all know that we do wrong things and other people do wrong things. And it makes sense to us in some sense. We don't like it, but it makes sense to us that when somebody does something wrong, they deserve justice. They deserve something that is punishment or consequence. We don't like it. Actually, we like it when it's applied to other people. We don't like it when it's applied to us. So it's hard for us to accept the idea that if God could be perfect and holy, how can he be just? Well, the answer is he is just because Jesus Christ is what makes justice work because we all have done wrong. There's an idea that, that came to me about this, about teaching a child how to ride a bike. When you teach a child how to ride a bike, you, you teach them to look out because the tendency is to look at their feet, to look straight down so they don't fall, but you need to teach them to look out. But eventually they'll look down again and they'll fall. And you can put training wheels on them and protect them from not falling. Or you can pick them back up. And that's what God does illustratively in giving us Jesus Christ. He takes our place. That's mercy. Jesus Christ came to take our place to pay the justice that we all owe. God is fully merciful. Fully merciful just, fully good, fully holy, fully love. It's hard to grasp how justice and love can play together because I've heard people say many times, how can a loving God allow this, um, allow somebody to go to hell for their sins and, and their disobedience? You know, that doesn't seem like a loving God. But the thing is, we've, we need to re realize that removing God's justice is truly unloving. It erodes moral right and wrong. If there wasn't justice, if God wasn't just, then everything would always be okay. Everybody um, is loved and accepted no matter what they do. So what does it matter what I do? Forgiveness is loving and just because Jesus Christ paid for it. And we hear that all summed up in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life.